Hi hey everybody, we've got a special treat this week. I got this great recipe when Bayside Bowl first opened. They had a great chef there. It involves a pineapple. You've got chicken bites that are tossed in a Asian sweet and spicy sauce that they will be skewered into this pineapple and it is a great thing to bring to a party. So, let's start with the sauce first. Um, two quarts of mayo, I usually use a little less. So two quarts is uh, three cups, I would maybe do two and a half cups. To the mayo, we're gonna add a red curry paste. Um, this is a hot, spicy little paste that you can get at the supermarket. Here we have soy sauce. And then we have a Thai sweet chili sauce. A couple of tablespoons of that. And then we have curry powder. And I like a lot, so that's probably a good tablespoon of that. So you want to stir all of this together in with the mayonnaise. I'm going to add the zest of one lime. This adds a big blast of flavor, I think. And the zest of half a lime. Put that in with your mixture. Stir this all together. And the final ingredient, two tablespoons of coconut milk. I have yet to find a can small enough because I end up throwing away. If you have any ideas what to do with the rest of this coconut milk, let me know. But you only need two tablespoons. The chicken, you can boil it in a big pot of water, just a little salt, for about 15-20 minutes till it's cooked through. Now you want to cut these into bite-sized pieces, so not too big, not too small. So now that the chicken is all cut up into chunks, you're going to put it into the sweet and sour sauce. And you're just going to coat the chicken in this sauce. Take a, a large toothpick, pick through the chicken, it's covered in sauce. Now here we're going to just sprinkle toasted coconut, which I just tossed into the uh, oven at 350 degrees for maybe 10 minutes. Watch it because it does burn pretty quickly. <laughs> it's a lot of work. We're getting close, but it's worth it. And there you have it. I told you it was a showstopper. Bring this to any party. It'll be gone like that. I see why Bayside Bowl took it off the menu. It is a little time consuming, but so worth it. I'll put the recipe for you on our Facebook pages, and we'll see you next time.